So, what is up, guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. This is Nick here from Everything Tech, and welcome to this ZTE Max Duo LTE versus LG G4. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult comparison because of kind of the stipulations around who would be buying these devices. Now, the ZTE Max Duo LTE is the Straight Talk variant, aka this is a company a lot of people may not know about, but if you do know about it, shout out to you, US Cellular's ZTE Imperial Max. Now, this variant is slightly less powerful than the ZTE Z Max Pro for Metro PCS or the Grand X Max Plus or X2, whatever it's called. You got long names on the ZTE Z Max. This is the cricket variant of the ZTE. I think it's the Grand X Max 2. So what I mean by that is, there's one slight difference. The ZTE Max Duo LTE and the Imperial Max for US Cellular has a 615 Snapdragon CPU. Also, they have the dual camera set up here on this one, whereas the Z Max Pro has a fingerprint scanner. And um, this one has 16 gigabytes of storage, whereas the Z Max Pro has 32 GBs of storage. But the reason I'm doing this comparison is because most people that use Straight Talk know that this is a bring your own phone company and this does come in the GSM variant. So you can go get a SIM card and you can use phones on pretty much any company. And you might actually be somebody who's like, well, I'm a Straight Talk or, you know, I'm with Metro or somebody getting them one of the other variants. And I'm looking at that G4 too, because a lot of people, this was a nationwide, you know, phone offered across multiple carriers and unlocked for those of you who don't live in the US. So this can be a comparison for that, but let's kind of kick it off here. So the ZTE, you know, Max Dual LTE, like we said, is a variant of those other ones that I mentioned, but it does have a matte back on here and it has a dual camera setup that's 13 megapixels here. And I'm not, I haven't, you know, checked that one, but it's just, this is just for a bokeh effect. It really doesn't matter what the specs are. It doesn't do much, but just blur the background. What really matters is that's a 13 megapixel camera there. It has a five megapixel camera here, a six inch full HD, that's 1080p pixel display here. And uh, it feels really premium. It's got nicely like, cutouts on the speaker down here. It feels really premium for its price. You know, you'd be fooled to think that this is 199 bucks. Yeah, this one's a little bit more than the ZT Max Pro, which is 99 bucks. But remember that that ZT Max Pro is after mail-in rebate. It's not 99 bucks. Like you don't just walk in the store, spend 99 bucks and you get it. It's after mail-in rebate. It's actually 179 right now for that phone. So that's that. It does have Android 5.1.1. Now this is the LG G4. We know what this is. And uh, I really like this device because I think it's super underrated. It, it can go toe to toe with things like the S6S Plus, the S7, um, not quite the S7 because that just came out, but like the S6 Edge Plus, the the phones of last year, 2015. The G5, in my opinion, was a flop, but this does have the leather back. I really like the uniqueness of this. You know, you can get this in black, wine, red, all kinds of colors, and it does have a slight curve to it right here. So it kind of gives you the impression of like a little, you know, flat screen TV that you would have. Imagine if you just had like a little stand here, that would be like a little mini flat screen TV. That's what it feels like to me, the G4. But it's very curvature in your hand. And this is one of the most compact big phones you can buy in terms of ergonomics. If you guys want a big phone that just fits in your palm and it feels like a, a smaller phone in your hand, the G4 is where it's at. And that's what I really love about it. So yeah, what we're gonna do is boot these guys up now. I've been talking about the actual devices themselves. So we're gonna boot these guys up in three, two, let me see if I'm on the right power button, one. And actually, I actually didn't turn that one off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I forgot to turn off the Max Duo LTC. We're gonna boot these guys up in three, two, one. You can see LG is showing first and looks like we got ZTE now here on the left. Now I do think the G4 will boot up quicker. This does have a, you know, an octa-core CPU or a six core, it's not an octa-core, it's a six core CPU. And this has an octa-core CPU right here. Now this is the lower powered cores here on the Max Duo LTE, whereas this is, uh, you know, four of the lower power cores, but then it has two of the higher power cores. And that's what really makes a difference with the flagships is that these have eight, most budget phones have the eight lower powered CPUs and the ZTE Max Duo beat the G4, which is kind of quite shocking in my opinion, but it was only slightly. But that just goes to show you get a lot of money or a lot of phone for your money here with these new ZTE phones. But um, yeah, overall, basically, 
This screen is Full HD, this is 2K, and I could tell you right now, I prefer the, the screen on the G4 in terms of crisp, crispness because it's just sharper, 2K. I know a lot of people can't see that difference between 1080 and 2K, but when you, hold, when you use a 2K display for an extended period of time, and then you go back to a 1080, I think most people would be able to tell the difference. Now, if you're holding them side by side like this in the store, you're not really gonna see it, but it's about using a 2K and then going back to a 1080 is where you're gonna see the difference here between both of these devices. Now, like I say, this one is running Android Mar uh, Lollipop. This one is running Android Marshmallow. But let's go ahead and close everything out and get into this app test. I know you guys wanna see that, so let's get into that. And this is not indicative of you know which device is faster, but um, we're just gonna see which one opens up first, both on the same Wi-Fi network. So let's get into this right now, Play Store. ZTE, Max Duo LTE, let's go home. About the same there, let's go into Calendar. ZTE, once again, let's go home. Calculator. ZTE, once again, let's go home, Twitter. ZT once again. So this is just showing you that these budget phones are really, you know, good these days. They're really competing with these upper, these flagship phones. Let's go home. Let's go to Spotify. And this might just be because the ZTE is a brand new phone. And this is like, I've had this phone a little bit. That might be the difference there. But I don't know what's going on there with the G4, but that's taking quite a while to load there. But you can see ZTE is beating the pants off this LG right now. Let's go to this YouTube really quickly. Once again, ZTE, and maybe maybe it is a quicker device. I thought the G4 was a quicker device in day-to-day -day use, but let's go to Instagram. About the same there, LG G4 actually on that one. Let's go to eBay. Okay, ZTE once again, let's come back home. Let's go into clock here. ZTE once again, let's go into Zillow. And I'm not being biased here, this is just what I'm seeing, guys. Let me know what you guys are seeing. So that one, about dead even on that one. So G4, while it's hanging right there with it, it might be because this is an octa-core CPU and this is a six-core CPU, but um, yeah, the G4 is still pretty quick, you know. But you can see right there, ZTE Max Dua LTE beat the G4 again. So the G4 is showing that, you know, it's a little bit behind here, these newer, premium budget phones. Maybe the G4 is more like a premium budget phone now, but that's why it's dropping in price. And that's one thing I want to say about both of these phones. If you decide to pick up both of these phones, these are not the type of phones that you're going to go sell and get a great amount of money for in terms of value. These phones are going to drop in value. And that's one reason um, iPhones are one of the best phones to buy. If you want to sell them for more money, they're always going to get you a lot of money back out of them. Let's go into a Pi Geek. Let's see which one gets there first. And that looked about the same. So give or take here and there, ZT will open one quicker than the G4. They're both about the same actually in performance based on this testing here. But where I did notice, notice the ZT not be quite as good as the G4 is that sometimes it would hang on certain things here and there. It would hang like the apps would hang. And the G4 overall feels like more snappy in my opinion. Like even though those apps were opening a little bit quicker on the ZTE in terms of just like those little glitches and hangs and frame rate drops that you see on some devices, the G4 did not do that. So what about them cameras? Now this is an area where the G4 will just hands down destroy this phone right here. This does have a really good camera, which we'll talk about in the review, but the G4 16 megapixel camera is just a beast. Now in terms of battery life, the ZTE Max Duo LTE is going to be a better battery, you know, in terms of longevity, but the G4 will charge faster as a Qualcomm 2.0 quick charger support. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we gotta go any further with these two devices. If you're gonna pick up one of these devices, both are gonna run you right around, you know, 200 bucks, give or take. If you go with the Pro for Metro PCS, it'll be even cheaper. But nonetheless, the ZTE, the ZTE, this variant, is going to be a little bit cheaper than the G4, as well as the other variants for the other carriers. So if you want a really great smartphone, that's really quick and can keep up with some of these flagship phones for a great price, I would say go with this ZTE, you know, Max Duo LTE right here. It's gonna really probably please you. And you know, and same thing, if you're on Cricket, go with the Grand X Max. If you're on Metro, go with the ZMAX Pro. If you're on US Cellular, go with the Imperial Max. 
and you know the like so that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up if you guys enjoyed it please go ahead click the like button for me subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this I will be having more comparisons with the ZT this was just the first of many so uh, yeah I'll catch you all in the next one be sure to leave your comments any questions suggestions opinions about these devices you know share them with us down below that can help others out in their research and you know buying one of these phones believe it or not and have a great day wherever you are be sure to be well and peace